and that means deep pitting here. So while I'm spraying off puppy pads and scrubbing down the dog yard, Brian is over cleaning up the deep pit because it wasn't hasn't been used since this time last year. So we will show you how to prepare a deep pit and turkey for Thanksgiving, Christmas, Easter, whichever special event. Our deep pit is out here. It was one of the very first things that Brian put out here, built out here. And we've used it every year, uh, every year since. You can see Girl is in her favorite place. She loves to be in the ranger. She hasn't been feeling very good uh, lately. Uh, so she's kind of getting spoiled. Getting to be where she likes to be. Cleaning out the ashes from last year. Getting it all ready. So now it is turkey prep time. This is one of the turkeys and these guys right here are going to show you how we prepare the turkey for the deep pit. This is a store-bought turkey. Next year we will have fresh turkeys that we raise here. So So this is what he is using to put inside the turkey. We've got butter, oranges, oranges yeah. onion, pepper. Oh, inside. Hmm? You putting apples in this year? No, probably not. I'm having cut up mainly for moisture. Sure. Yes, all of this is for moisture. This. Oh, hmm. oh no, that's just great. <laughs> I know, mm -hmm. I felt it. This adds moisture to the turkey while it's cooking in the deep pit. You can put apples in too, but we're not doing that this year. Mm -hmm. What are you waiting on? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay. Alrighty. Just go ahead and put a little bit of pappies on it. Okay, and sprinkle it all over. Happy seasoning. You can come on this side, Candy. Okay, okay. There, a little bit. There, a little bit more. A little bit of pepper. You do all that before the mayonnaise? Yeah, it just doesn't matter. It's all going to fall off and be on the bottom of the pit and mixed in the meat anyway. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It all falls off, so, all right. There's really nothing to it. Basically, just throw a bunch of seasoning. It's all going to fall off and be off the bone when it comes out of the pit, so it all mixes up. Now we put in mayonnaise. I always thought it was crazy. This guy I used to live next to, uh, no longer with us, but he uh, he told me to smear mayonnaise on it. I couldn't figure out why, but what it does, it seals in moisture, and never had a no, no, never had one uh, come out dry at all. So Camden wants to do the smearing of the mayonnaise. It really doesn't matter how much. Huh. Just put it all on there. Your hands are clean. Yeah. Okay. okay. Stick it in there. And smear it all over. Yeah. Yeah, the social mirror doesn't really matter. Just 
Put it all in there. It looks kind of funny, but it, you don't taste it. It doesn't run it. it really, uh, I think quite a few people do it. I just never did it until he told me, and I never had one go bad on me, so. Just kind of rub it, and I'll flip it over here. I don't have to sit there and make funny noises. <laughs> the kid's always goofing off. Alrighty, that's probably good. So. Then, um, all right, Camden, that's good. Put some pepper right there. It's no longer really useful. Yes, it is. Hmm? You know, I'm just saying. Oh. You can put a little more. Like I said, you're not going to over season it, really. Uh, and we'll, uh, one of the important things that I found out is make sure you don't poke a hole in the oven bag. Uh, That'll cause you to lose your moisture, then you have all kinds of problems. So, I recommend if you're doing a big turkey, uh, buy an extra one. An extra have on, uh, oven bag? Oven bag, I mean, just in case you poke a hole. That way you can, you don't have to run to the store, especially if you don't live right next to the store. Uh, it is on that angle. This is what's really the pain for me, is getting the stupid thing in there about... <laughs> Poking a hole in the darn thing. Can you keep holding it right at me? I'm gonna give you a hand on the bottom. Just don't stick it over here. Wait, hold on. Poked it. You know, we already took out the gizzard and all that stuff, so it's all been taken out. Neck's been removed. Uh, so, then we wing. got in our. Oh, rabbit. So we're we not gonna kill you. Turkey wing. I know you're precious, but. Then rinse my hands off again. The tiny it, just get the air out, leave it loose for expansion, and we'll start wrapping it before. One thing I always try to do, and it probably really doesn't matter, is to cook it uh, breast down. Uh, I know that guy just always told me to do that. And I, so that's what I try to do, just get the air out. Make sure you tie it good and we wrap it with no we'll tie it with this is a top and this way you put it in here so go ahead and put one right there. Just tight. Alright. Okay. Right, good. Right. Just kind of wrap it up like that. Hey man, new thing a foil. I probably actually over wrap it in foil, but I'll wrap a few things. I just don't, I'd rather protect the meat and make sure everything's good. So I always just end up putting probably more than I really have to on it. But like I said, foil's not overly costly and we don't want to. You sure don't want to catch fire. I just kind of broke. And I'll put one more just so I get it wrapped this way, that way. And I put one more just for protection. You may not have to. But, uh, like I said, if you want a one shot deal, then it's terrible to pull your turkey out and be all dry. And, no good, you may have a or disintegrated. Two upset people and still get over it again. Now look at it. That's the right thing that happens to me. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the paper bag. Uh, to be honest with you, I really don't know why. I guess to protect the little foil a little bit. We always, we always have, and I'm, I'm not gonna change it. Uh, Slide that in there. Bring it over. Now, 
a gun sack, which I suppose I put it in there right now, but I'm not going to... Then you have to put wire on it. We'll do the wire later on. When yeah, we... I don't want to... Yeah. When you're putting the wire on, just be careful you don't let it poke and poke a hole into your bag. Like I said, it's important just try to keep the juice. Keep the juice in it, you'll be successful deep hitting every time. It's, that's, it won't dry out. That's one thing you ever got to worry about. So this is a burlap gunny sack. Yeah, it's a little bigger. I bought it from a feed store. A little town. Of, it didn't really need to be this big. You can get one to potatoes come in and stuff that we usually use. Uh, these work just fine. And we'll just uh, wrap it in wire later. And once we uh, wrap it in wire, before you put it in the pit, I don't know, we'll yeah, be we'll, showing that yeah, tonight. We or We'll show it. Uh, you soak it real good in water. Get the burlap nice and wet. That way uh, it won't catch on fire and you put it in a hot pit. It'll be, can you put your thumb and finger right there? It'll be all ready to, and it'll keep the burlap catching fire. Okay. And stuff. So we'll put that in the refrigerator and wait until later. Right now we're just going to get some wire and we're going to tie up the turkeys and the, the pork. And basically you got to make it just a little hook and to hold everything together. Then after that we'll uh, put the burlap in the water, soak it up so it doesn't catch on fire and we put it in. Yeah now we're just going to dump the meat, make sure the burlap's good and wet so it doesn't catch fire. Once you put it in, there's no, uh, we already pre-soaked them a little bit, but we want to make sure they're good and wet, because not. I hope I didn't break the drop them. No, I think they're fine. Hmm? I think they're fine. They so much. You didn't drop them that hard. And number three. This one here, we'll make sure we set on there because you don't want the wires to cut into them. So we're going to put the top on. Any steam you see, that's where you want to hit first. Or if you're doing the water, it's kind of make the dirt pack in a little better so you don't have any problems. They need to cover the plate and everything. 
It's got a bunch of rookies doing it right now, but it's good for them to learn. Go ahead and cover the plate and everything. All right, we covered up the meat in the deep pit. We make sure there's no leaks. Everything's looking good. So in the morning, we'll come out here probably about uh, we usually let it set 10 to 12 hours. We'll come out in the morning and we'll show you what it looks like we uncover it. Right now we're going to take the meat out. It's just worried about losing moisture. You know, it's the only thing I'm ever worried about. But we still had 250 degrees inside the pit. And we opened it up. So all should be good. We'll see here in a second. Other than that, it's good eating. Gotta have gloves though. It is hot.
Yes. Oh, oh, do you have one? Oh, no, thank you. We had people that didn't support my pen and didn't come. That's what we got. Thanks for joining us!